glad you mentioned the war tour thing too, because I think we should. They both played a war tour back with multiple bands and stuff. But yeah. I um I think our band tries to share the spirit of how that era of music was so collaborative and so eclectic. There was every different kind of sound you could like, and it was really a celebration of music enjoyers instead of one just genre or scene. It was bringing multiple scenes together, and I think. Now a lot of time has passed that our band seeks to be a facilitator of sorts in that regard too. I think there's so many, so much amazing music today that you hear. There's so many awesome bands that are up and coming or established, many of which were inspired by my dad's work, which blows my mind because everything ties back together. But um, I think that's the funnest part is getting your hands dirty. You know, when you ask the average music fan, like what 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 do they like? You know, like what 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 do you listen to? People say, oh, everything. I listen to everything. And they're not lying anymore, you know? I think the sentiment like 10, 20 years ago is, man, music sucks nowadays. Music's shitty, music's bad. I really don't hear people saying that as much anymore, except unless you're really out of the loop. People find some way, virally, or just after word of mouth and in person, something that they really connect with. And so I want to see that unified again, you know? I want to see fucking the new age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I sat I sat down with the whalers today and they kinda they said something whaling, similar. They were they saying, were you know whale, they was I asked them I asked them, what do you guys think about like reggae today? Because you know it's a completely different scene back in the day. And they were they quoted Bob Marley, but he also said, you know, everything's gonna be different and it's gonna be done in their own way and he's happy that most of the bands out there right now are trying to put a positive <laughs> message out there. They're not like you, you know getting too crazy or anything, and it's he flipped, feels like man. it's like he feels like it's coming positive. up. We want to put positivity out there too. Like I wish we could try to be ultra positive and not cynical up there on stage. Like you know, why do people do it? Why do people come out to shows and stand in giant crowds and you know listen to loud music, come out of amplifiers? You know, it's it's an experience, it's a memory, and it's a community. Right. Thing. Like just like it's always been, and I think there really is just limitless potential for what you can do. Um, not only with just with the reggae scene that a lot of musicians that we work with, but also the alternative scenes that we're starting to branch into with a lot of other bands. I mean, uh, so many bands in that that Warped Tour '90s era—they're mixing together, you know. Yeah, Spotless there was reggae, there was no genre yeah. to go into with There's those tours. And hip hop. It was just the music that was just a, a response, I think, mm -hmm. to artificiality. Into so, is that what your guys' outlook is right now? That's your guys' head goal right now with the uh, Jacob's Castle? I think so. I think. Uh, Musically, I want to mix not only, we want to mix the spirit and the sort of feel of, of that era, of that old school, with all of the interesting new school underground music that I see happening in Southern California. Okay. You know, like hyper pop and some pop punk stuff and emo shit and, and you know, yeah. just internet music in general. But like with that same beachy atmosphere that I think condones a, a vibe of just, you know, peace and unity and love and all that stuff. It's, it's funny as that can be. It's almost like ironic, you know? It's yeah. I, it's both an ironic parody and celebration of, of all of the above. <laughs> right. How did you meet? How did you all three meet? The gym! Really? You can't tell! <laughs> you can't tell! Can You're like, bro, I, I went in. Yo, you guys are prepping him up. It sounds like you guys were in the gym and he came in and said, you guys were like, hey! <laughs> yeah, no, he needed spotters, you know what I mean? Yep. Right, yeah, you, you know, guys are built. Like spotting each other, you know? <laughs> Um, we actually legitimately did meet at the no, gym. We, we they met. Yeah. Really? We met at the gym. <laughs> yeah. they met we at did the you gym. guys know who you, you, who we, you guys I, were, like, at all? What's up? Did you guys know who you guys were? Or was it kind of like just a so, weird fucking uh, coincidence? Because really. you guys played at Warp Tours. Yes. Yeah. But oh, he's yeah. been so, so in the music industry that. forever. So actually, Warp Tour is where I met the guy that recommended me to Jacob. Mm. Uh, yeah, you saw Pepper, it from uh, Pepper. Oh, really? Yeah. Recommended me through, yeah, through a mutual manager yeah. actually yeah through Sally yeah. my manager um, she uh, she just knows like everybody and these two know everybody every time we're out any show, like, oh you guys are playing with him you know him and then yeah, it's you like, play old warp tours man you meet some people yeah, yeah you meet a lot of people that's why they're the perfect fit for the project and why it's just been such a great time working together because you know We've all had different experiences in this thing, but and been through that like crazy party atmosphere. But we're all sober dudes now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah. And we got nothing against people who still choose to partake, party, and have fun. Like we want to facilitate the right. good times for people. We'll drive to get your drugs. We'll, well, yeah, yeah. Ah! We're bodies, dude. Yeah, you can do a line off me. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh. We'll drugs for you guys. <laughs> like, but what we like is just you know being conscious about it, being safe, like testing your shit, and being aware about what is happening out there to musicians and. And taking care of yourself and, 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 and recognizing when you're just self-medicating versus trying to exalt and have a good time and celebrate. Like, 
I always try to ask myself, like, what am I celebrating about? Right. <laughs> you can't just celebrate on a Tuesday. And, uh, it's Tuesday. Let's fucking get fucked up for three days straight. Like, you know, you there has to be. Shit, right? yeah, you can have man. a vice, but you can't join Vice City. And then, there we go. Vice City should be at our show. Come have fun at our shows. And yeah. Then, and then leave it at the shows. And his family has a foundation <laughs> that they're, like, setting up. It's, think, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. That, like, What's the foundation's that? name? Uh, Noel Family Foundation. Okay. We're opening up a treatment center called Bradley's House. Uh, basically a place to get musicians without the necessary means um, uh, a center of treatment. It, it's mainly for opioid addicted musicians. That's one of the major yeah. epidemics we see across the country with fentanyl and stuff like that. And it's not lame anymore. I think fans are sick and tired of losing their favorite artists and their loved ones to shit like fentanyl or, you know, Super stupid pressed pills with Xanax and shit like that. Like people just trying to have a good time and express themselves. The, the drugs aren't the issue. It's just educating people, having that awareness and having the right uh, areas of uh, recovery. I don't take an anti-drug stance. I'm pro. I'm pro every kind of human thing that makes you feel good. It's just everything in balance and knowing when to do it. Yeah. And for our balance now, we've had so much fun over the years. We're ready to just be sober and let everybody else have it. Yeah, we graduated. We'll, we'll facilitate for you. <laughs> exactly. We graduated. We used up all of our fun cards. We yeah. used up our fun points. We yeah. drank, actually literally drank all the good four locos. So like, yeah, yeah. I, I think <laughs> we killed all those. You're like, if, the, if you remember, they discontinued yeah. and came back around, and everybody actually, said the recipe changed. So rad, dude. Oh, it was like taking a mini oh. roll, dude. Like, oh man, I remember. I remember working in Van Nuys at a like a cannabis shop. Back in the day when I was taking a hiatus from the music industry, right. and uh, a, a, a coworker of mine named Nikita, he was work, he lived in Hollywood, and he's like, "Come, come home with me and stay with me," because I was moving to Arizona, so my wife and kids are in Arizona, and I, I'm going to his house. He's like, "We're gonna go into Seven Eleven and get a Four Loco." So I'm like, "Oh, cool. Is that like an Arizona iced tea?" And he's like, "No, not at all." And I'm like, "Okay," and I'm like looking at him, and they're like, "I need your ID." I'm like, "Because I, I wasn't reading. I'm just like Four Locos. What the hell's cool. Four Locos?" And I remember drinking that and sitting outside of his patio like, why the fuck do they make these, dude? Like, what the fuck is going on? What is going on? Yeah. I'm like, I feel like I need to go out. You know what I mean? And he's like, bro, it's 3.30 in Hollywood. Yeah. No one's going out, really. And it's not the right people, it. at least. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm feeling like the wrong kind of people. To, yeah. We need to get into that. Yeah, I'm sure there are people that are going out, but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm hanging out with those guys. I lived in L.A. for 10 years. i not going back. Living in Oregon now. Oh, that's everybody says, well, everybody says Oregon's crazy, but what you do is you don't live in North Oregon. There we go. go it's down. green, though, so who cares if it's green? It's Dude, nice. it's beautiful. It's trees. Like I said, I just came from Florida. i never been to Florida. It was the first time going to Florida, doing Florida Gross Fest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never, you know, it's tropical. I didn't think it was going to be. I was like, everybody was like, it's green. I'm like, I live in the Northwest, bro. Like, what do you, green what? And they were like, no, it's lime green. It's like lime green Caribbean. And it's so hot. And you're like, I can deal with hot. I'm, I'm good with hot. I've been in Cali and Arizona and stuff. And then it starts raining. Yeah. And you're like, whoa. No, and then it stops yeah. raining. And then the sun comes back out. And you're like, what the fuck? Back I feel like I'm forth. cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Shirts yeah. are yeah. useless. You're, you're close to the equator. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my Cuban friend helped me with my booth. And he was wearing uh, skin tight stuff all the way down to his hands, around his face and stuff. And I'm like, bro, you're going to be sweating bullets. He's like, bro, you're going to be burnt this weekend. Yeah, you got some protection out there. Yeah, I'm the dumb one. <laughs> Listen, to always use protection right? kids. Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. I just wake up, I put a condom on, and I go out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, if you've, if you've seen time. the Dave all show, the 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 scrotum protector thing that he was doing. Yes. I don't know if that's real, but I was like, damn, we'll the kids nowadays. Scrotum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the scrotum. Scrotum. But yeah, I love I love that you got that whole foundation in your family and everything. Right. Growing up in the industry as well. Lost a lot of family friends as well, you know. It affects everyone, man. It's it, like, everyone. And then you, you imagine, like, you know, you know a guy and that's a family friend. That's cool. But there's, like, millions of other people that listen to that artist and they're like, oh, that stopped me from suicide. That got me clean. That got me back together with my sister. Or me and my me and my family are finally bonding because of the oh, song you released. It's, uh, it's so powerful and potent. It's the great enigma, you know. It's this universal solvent that has no explanation or rhyme or reason but yet it's able capable of doing so much throughout the generations i think people are just getting started you know? mm -hmm. yeah i like how the scene's turning out right now i love how festivals are really coming out more so right now i know covid but it did a big damper on everything you know but i feel like it's coming back super duper fucking strong um all over the place i saw more festivals this year pop up than last year by like 
sixty percent at the bare minimum. I'm not, you know, I'm just spitballing even, but like, yeah, I feel like it created like a hunger. Yeah, because like oh, everybody's sitting there and they're sitting on their computer and they're expanding their horizons. You can't, you can only listen to the same song so yeah. long on repeat. Your and, music will find you, and that yeah. name of that music, uh, the Jacob's Castle, <laughs> that's okay. gonna find you. Jacob's Castle, it will yeah, find Jacob you. with a K. Yes. The castle, and you can love it. So you know, what? What's what's different between your last group that you did? I know you did Law. Yeah. Yeah, so what's gonna be? Sick. What's gonna for people you Actually, know that are trying to people who are followed <laughs> people who followed you on that end and even followed you guys you know what yeah, could you guys say is different law fans um, you know I think for the longest time uh, you know your dad uh, let's say your dad runs a car dealership you end up working at a car dealership I didn't know what the fuck I was doing in here I wasn't I didn't grow up listening to music I couldn't name who was in the bands that I listened to or made the albums or the tones or the qualities or I didn't. I didn't strive for any of that. I, I was seeking after this thing that I thought I had to sort of do. I found out later on that I really do like performing. That's the juice for me, storytelling, and just hearing my fucking own goddamn voice, I guess. <laughs> but I think a big part of it for me was um, explorative and, and also seeking approval and validation from others, this shit I didn't get growing up. So I'd meet awesome people who were great musicians. I'd be like, oh, you want to be in a band? Well, okay, well, I got connections, I'll start a band. Like, do you like me now? Like, <laughs> which isn't fair to put on other people. It's not just them being dicks. It's it's a, an unhealthy cycle. So every time I had someone in the band, it's like, okay, well, we play this kind of music now, or now we play rap. Okay, we play grunge, or we play metal now, or what, what do you want us to play? I'll do whatever. All the while, just spinning my wheels, not really wanting to do it. And it took uh, that band, Law Ending, which, you know, gave me years and years to learn what it was like touring and actually how to be a musician and, and singing correctly and taking care of your equipment and, and talking to people and doing the interviews and doing the business side of things as well. Once that all collapsed, I realized now that there has been uh, what is frankly just this scene that I see that is, it could be improved. There's just a lot of people profiting off of the tragedy of my family. A lot of people, um, I think, incorrectly utilizing the things that Sublime laid down. Uh, whether intentionally or not, it doesn't matter because we can all live under the castle. We can all live and be beautiful. But my it, new band is just sort of like the expeditionary force. We seek to kind of use this to branch out into other scenes, bring people back to our scene, boost other people up. And uh, once I realized I wanted to do that, it all became super simple and really easy. It, it, it's something I really wanted to do and uh, part of my life that I want to take hold of and try to do the best that I can with it. So. Okay. I don't know, I lost my train of thought. No, it's good. Yeah. Hey, man. I liked where you were going. Yeah, that was great. Felt good for a second. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, and then I was like on a journey right there. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go. Yeah. We're gonna take them. Yeah. Life gives you lemons. You shove those lemons down their throat until they see yellow. <laughs> Jam it down their throat. Hey, the dude abides. Yeah. The dude abides, man. <laughs> so, do your family and friends support you on your endeavors with no, being in the me music? Out of the house. They were all against it. I don't speak with any of my yeah, family. Yeah, he's living on my couch. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're, they're really excited. They're nervous at first, man. They lost one kid to rock and roll. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. That's uh, scary. Yeah, your next kid wants to do that, and it's like, fuck, it's all happening again. The nightmare continues, you know? This is uh, kind of a cur Honestly, when young people ask me, like, advice about starting off with music and stuff what i tell them is like go get a normal job yeah. and get you a husband or wife or whatever you want yeah, yeah. and don't forget about the song don't fucking play do music it. on your weekends and, and write songs for yourself and have fun and play for your friends like that's what i you don't want this fucking insane you have to be insane to think i want to spend 100 days out of the year sleeping on people's floors and touring in a van and fucking <laughs> talking to people and making myself you know Starving, my whatever it is that Dude, you do, it's a portal to hell. Is yeah, but hell for company, heaven for climate. So whatever, hey, hey. you know, you guys, so you guys look like you enjoy yourselves, though. Oh, you yes. know, yeah. when you guys are at least on the stage, I feel like it's oh, one of those I'm things. So sorry. One second. No, you're fine, man. Chris, like, what's up, dude? Oh, shit. How's it going? <laughs> what's doing over there, big dog? What's up? How you doing? Hey. So why don't you guys say? Why don't you guys tell me uh, other bands you guys have played at? Uh, uh, well, my actually the Warp Tour band, my baby band was Poor Habit. We were on Fat Records. Oh, fuck yeah, I we, know. We, yeah, Fat Mike took care of us greatly, but like, yeah. So that's how we did the Warp Tour thing. Um, I'm not that far I've from played me. in a few other bands. Played in Authority Zero yeah, last year. Oh, no. Arizona. Fuck yeah, I, I know them pretty well. Yeah. They're really good. And I actually drummed with Authority Zero. For yeah. Really? Yeah. For like a tour back 
I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago, we were How playing the, with I, Voodoo Glow Skulls. I feel like we've met then. Maybe. When I was a little younger without facial hair, maybe. maybe. I don't know, that power chain? That could be... Yeah, maybe the... I'm telling you that. Yeah, yeah, the power chain. Yeah, I mean, I remember I remember going to the Rock Against Bush tour, the second one in Arizona with oh, yeah. Anti-Flag and Tom Morello, and it was a 21 and over concert. And I was younger and not 21, and Tom Morello's like, all right, you need to take this Red Bull, and you need to take this uh, cocktail. If anybody asks you shit, you just look at me and go, uh -huh. <laughs> And I'm sitting there like, I don't drink, and uh, what's a fucking Red Bull? Like, my mom never gave me that kind of shit. I crash on caffeine, you know? Uh, Same, man. Except pre-workout. Somehow I managed to do pre-workout. Like what pre-workouts you guys yeah. into? C4. C4. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I think I actually stole some of your C4 at the yeah. hotel. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. God, I can't remember what I, I think I was taking lit when I was working out pre-COVID. I, I feel like I've tried. Dude, the yeah, the thing had the thing had me like this. Yeah. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I've gone through you got them and just came back to like, Yeah, you feel like they're in your feet. skin and then like you yeah. read the back of the thing, they're like, that just means it's working. Yeah. And I'm like, what? It's good for you. Like, Lean shit. into it. Yeah. 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 The, the of ants is taking your fat and running out of your yeah. anus. You have like rashes <laughs> on your elbows and your knees. And stuff. Shit. I'm already, I'm already there and everything. But yeah, he was in a sweet metal band with his brother, Alora. Yeah. And that, my band, Poor Habit, we were, were like punk rocker brothers. So we were always kind of like the cousin bands, like with the yeah. South Bay. We always kind of knew each yeah, other. Yeah, we played we a couple show shows up. together, but yeah. like we knew them because they were like with Felony Records and like yeah. I knew Felony Ron. I don't even know. What is life, man? What is yeah. life? Here we are now, and like, it's so cool to reconnect with them, and like, Jake yeah. brought us together again, and like, Pepper being a part of it. I don't know. It's yeah. pretty organic, man. Like, yeah, it seems extremely organic. It yeah. seems like you guys have known each other for fucking ever, the way yeah, you guys are like, true. just chemistry walking around in that sense, you know? Yeah, so this singer from uh, Pepper, uh, Brett Bollinger, he started a side project called Brett Bollinger and the Bad Habits, and I actually drummed for them for a tour as well. That was like right before COVID, I think. And that was another way I, I stayed in contact with Pepper and Yi, who eventually, eventually, uh, you know, recommended me to Jacob. So basically, we owe everything to Pepper. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> even on Warp Tour, they let us like sleep, but they would our members would like rotate. One person could sleep in the back lounge for a night, and like they would let us like drink their waters and yeah. like sit in their shade. The yeah. guys from Pennywise too always yeah. take really good care of us. I love Pennywise. Yeah. I love me some Pennywise. That's like so old school too. Such a warp tour vibe. It you really know? is, man. Yeah. It's a family that takes care of each other. That's what I'm saying. Hell for the company. That's right. Like we all take care of each other. Yeah, you know, you know it, it there's just so many ways to say it too, you know. You guys you guys put out a different th different thing as musicians because, you know, while there is therapy me being Irish, Native American, oh, both yeah. sides, Careful. they don't do therapy. <laughs> no, yeah, trust me, man. Trust me, growing up in the music industry, I saw too many people die. My mom always used to be like, do you want to look like him? And it would be like this guy that's doing the light show that has no teeth, and he'd be like, Ugh. and I'd be like, no. No, but I want his attitude. Yeah, I want that demeanor. I want that. I want, that. I want his vibe. Yeah, yeah, I like how he just is so confident. Yeah, he's so <laughs> like, such a fuck you vibe, even when you punch him. Yeah. <laughs> But like, yeah, you know, that's why I like the whole like, you know, the Bradley thing, uh, the the foundation, everything, just so great and everything. So, you guys are real big on the whole supporting that and everything. Oh, you guys yourself, push that yeah. on on your own accord and everything, right? Like, Jake is one of the most driven, intelligent individuals like I've seriously have ever personally worked with. So it's awesome to like link up with him and same with Chris, dude. Like, look at look at the biceps, dude. Like, <laughs> just screams motivation in the morning. Like, who do you want on your so, side at the gym? Dude, it's making me blush, but it's actually just a sunburn from the Beach Life Festival. Do you have any aloe vera? I have uh, aloe vera not on me. Look at me, dude. I've been I've I've been lathering in spray. Oh, he's Irish, dude. Yeah, I'm Irish, dude. That's why I'm, I'm like the Native American in me though blotches. Ah. I blotch. It's weird. And then like this, I was told I'll never get this. I was told this that this goes everywhere. And I was told that by a mustache, it needs to be like that. Oh, thank God. I don't want to speak anymore. Yeah, we were nervous, dude. <laughs> Am I killing your time? I love speaking. Am I killing I your time? Speaking. I know your, your no, set comes on. It feels so good when he speaks. I think, yeah. speaking. Oh. I think you need to see a picture of Jake's cat. Oh, Sally's calling you. Dude, yes, cat. No, what? <laughs> Sally, go. Hi, Sally. Here's Jake. 
Wait, hold on. Sally is the manager of the world. Sally, you're on a you're on an interview right now. I'm I'm in a I'm in a golf cart and I'm heading to you to pick you up. The media oh. area. Okay, cool. Incredible. Yeah, for the K Rock okay, thing, right? Up, so, uh, just go right out front and we'll we'll be right there. We'll get body love. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll get final thoughts yeah. here in this interview. Okay, cool. Okay. K Rock at four. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye-bye. We did, bye, a, bye. we did a great interview, so let's end it with this. Yeah, any final ideas? We'll, get, we'll get a photo after and everything, but... Oh, the band with the law guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you got a good memory. Um, yeah. Fuck that. And, uh, fuck those. No, nah, they're all good, guys. Yeah. Well, it's for them. But, um, you know, the music we made wasn't bad or whatever, but it just wasn't really me. I think they... I think we all had fun doing it, but the music we're making now with Jacob's Castle is music I absolutely love and endorse. I finished a record... Um, and uh, recently, I think we're gonna call it Enter the Castle. Okay. Is that it? That's yeah, the one? And then record two will be Castlefornia, yes. probably. Castlefornia. You just got two nuggets of information on this. I think it'd be sick with Castlefornia with a bunch of different. Oh, there's Sally right oh, there's there. She She's running in her overalls. Oh, wow. Anyways, All right. Uh, this is music I 100% endorse on every level. Hey, man, thank you. No problem. Thank oh, you, guys. Shit.